In my last video I talked about the uh, Sal photo book. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about um, uh, blurb photo books um, and talk about when you might want to um, get a blurb photo book rather than a Sal digital photo book. I'd mentioned that the uh, Sal digital photo book had a, um, some slight scratches on the cover. Um, Someone in the comments um, pointed out that that wasn't actually the case, uh, and that there was a um, there was a film over the cover, um, which was what had actually got scratched. So, having removed the film, um, you could see now that the uh, the cover was looked much nicer than it had done before. The other thing to mention about the Sal Digital Photo Book. Um, is the paper thickness is much thicker than on a blurb photo book. One thing that's not really noticeable with my photo books is uh, the seam lays flat. So if you had a, a, an image that crossed both pages, um, you wouldn't be losing any um, of the image, uh, the seam between the pages, which is pretty nice. Um, blurb do have a, a similar style photo book which does this as well and they're more expensive than the the, the photo books by blurb that i've i've had done before um, when i looked at the pricing com comparative pricing um, the sal digital came to 85 pounds um, but with the lay flat photo book from blurb um, they came to about 75 pounds for a similar um, book but they didn't have the acrylic, acrylic um, cover, so effectively you're paying ten pounds for an acrylic for an acrylic cover. I was very pleased with this photo book. Um, the reproduction of the prints were really nice, and they probably made a, a nicer job than uh, I would have got with um, the blur book photo books. So moving on to the blur photo books, I've had quite a few of these made now. Um, these are the uh, bottom of the range photo books. So full price, they're about £40 for a book like this. Um, I tend to wait until Blurb has got a discount going. Uh, so they'll quite often do 30% off or 40% off. And when, when this is the case, obviously they're much cheaper. You can build up a nice small set of travel photo books. I have a nice little collection. So these will look uh, they are they are nice books. I'm quite you know I've always been quite pleased with what I've got out of these. You can see that the, with the cover, um, it doesn't really matter with the way I've laid the book, the book out, but you're not going to get the, um, the, the the photo going across the across the spread as it uh, as I, as I've got with the Sal Digital Photo Book. But I've had quite a few of these done now, and uh, they're quite consistent. Um, in terms of quality and it's and it's nice to have a set of these books so these are the bottom of the range um, photo books um, i've typically paid um, between 20 and, and 30 pounds including postage for these books the most recent book that i had done um, this was um was about the lockdown this cost about 25 pounds and you can see it's quite a thin book so at that price, you're probably not going to be able to sell them on to other people. These are still books that you're doing for yourself um, rather than to sell. But this, I did this as a memento of what I've been doing during the lockdown. So we were restricted to um, a three mile, a three mile radius of where we lived, and all these all these photographs were taken within that three mile radius. And I'll probably give this book away. It's quite a nice um, reminder of the time that we all had. So I, would, I tend to buy the uh, blood photo books if I wanted um, a small keepsake of a trip or an event. Um, the Sal Digital Photo Book, I would buy one of those for very special occasions. Maybe a wedding or if you wanted to make a, a, a portfolio book. In that case, you might then want to go with the Sal Digital Photo Book. So both manufacturers do very nice books, and I would choose between them, depending on what photos I've got that I want to put into a book.